Hello everyone, I'm sorry about the shaky camera work, but I don't actually have uh, a proper sort of webcam-y set up here. This is uh, something for TLL Martin, who is trying to convert a 4x3 file from a PlayStation 1 game into a widescreen file. Okay, you might have to magnify this to see what's going on, but basically let's open up a file that is in 4x3, and you can see from there... As I turn the volume down, as I put Windows into full screen, and you can see that there is a gap at the top, and it's in its native resolution, which is 4x3. So what we want to do now is convert that into a 16x9 picture. Now, you can't uh, actually import mpeg files it doesn't look like anyway into windows movie maker because i did try it earlier if it can stop going large screen thank you very much so let's give it a try but i don't think you can no let's just uh i don't actually use uh movie maker so Bear with me. So let's just try it one more time. It's a brand new project and we try to drag the file into there. And no, it won't have it. Because it's an MPEG file and Movie Maker won't accept it. So what we've got to do is convert that file, which is quite handy because we can do that while we're going. So there's a program called Handbrake. It's free and generally available. I open up that program. And you'll see it looks a bit like the Starship Enterprise, but don't worry about that. Drag your 4x3 program into Handbrake. Wait for it to scan it. Which it has now done. So we can drag Handbrake back across here. And now what you want to do is where it says anamorphic, loose. You need to change that setting to custom. Now the other thing you need to do is in the filtering section, because you are essentially now stretching the screen, you have to change that to decomb and that setting to default. Otherwise you will get like uh, a mice crawling across the screen picture because it is actually stretching the resolution. Right, so now you've set that to custom. Now, your display width is all you need to touch on this. And you can change that to 950. Don't touch anything else. Come up to the preview screen. Now, you might not get this when you first load the program up because it defaults to whichever your default program is. If it's Windows Media, it should, uh, it should be okay. So press the default, you get a 30 second preview. So you wait for that to uh, upload. And now, as you can see, our 4x3 picture is now 16 by 9. Now obviously this is stretched. There's nothing you can do about that. But, as you can see, it does fill the screen. Now you can experiment with that. You don't have to do it at 950. If you only want it uh, at another resolution that they use, which is 14 over 9, you can come down to 880 on the display width. And that will give you just a few bars down the left and right side, but it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. I'll just show you how that looks. There you go, see that's not too bad actually, it's just a little bit um, on the left and the right hand side. That might be a preferable setting for the PS1 games actually, with just a little bit of black borders. Anyway, that's entirely up to you how you want to do it, but that's how you can stretch a 4x3 into a 16 over 9 now. There is other ways of doing it but they can get very complicated. So just don't forget 
880 or 950 in the display width window and the most important thing you have to set is the filtering to decomb and to default otherwise you won't get a better picture now that's all you need to do basically now to save that file you can just put that into windows and type in what you want test 56 because I've got quite a few <laughs> and you put that in and you can see now that's where it will go and now you just press the start button and that will start to uh, recode it in. I'm sorry for the camera movement but it is basically I've got a laptop sitting on my lap looking at another laptop because I say I haven't got a proper setup here. Uh, it takes a couple of minutes not very long at all. You can see the green bar. If you can't see any of this you may need to magnify on your uh, laptop or PC to actually see this come up. Okay, so as you can see, it's now done. The file is there, and it's on the desktop. So let's close that down. And always have fun trying to find the file. There it is. Now let's reopen Windows Movie Maker. And as I say, bear with me because I don't use this. We'll start that again. A new project, I think. Is what we need. Yes, we do. Let's drag test 56 into here, like so. And now, hopefully, as you can see from that, really should have turned that down. As you can see, you are now filling the screen almost entirely. So there you go guys, that's how you do it with Windows Live Movie Maker and Handbrake and everything else. I'll say there's a lot more complicated ways of doing it, but that's the simplest way to get your 4x3 into a 16x9. Okay guys, thanks for watching, catch you later.